So today's video is going to be one I've been wanting to do for a long time, um, showing to you eight building toys that are great for the STEM learning. Um, we have a 10 month old daughter who puts everything in her mouth and a three year old daughter who really shows, um, you know, she really gravitates towards building toys. So I'm gonna call my lovely assistant in here and have him, my husband, um, put together some of the toys so I can tell you more about them. I will link all of them down below and you can get them all on Amazon and um, the prices change, you know, how many stars reviews they might have change. But I'll just say they're all somewhere between like 15 and $40 for the sets. Um, and I'm just, I think all of them have like four and a half to five stars on Amazon. So um, if you want the specifics, go down below. I may use affiliate links. So um, just thanks for clicking on those ones if you're going to purchase them. But let's go ahead and jump into the demos. So the first toy I want to talk about is called Brain Flakes. And these are by Viahart, V-I-A-H-A-R-T. They're on Amazon, like I said. Um, it comes with 500 of them. And the price can vary, but like I said, they're all between like $15 and $40. Um, and these ones are... Um, 1.3 inches across but so they say that you know you shouldn't be using them up for kids under three years old but what i did notice was on the container it says for ages five plus and um, you can just snap them together they're like interlocking little discs but ages five plus is really what i think is you know what's recommended because our three-year-old cannot press these together and honestly he made that look easy but that is not easy building this tree that they have on the on the page that would take me hours it is really hard to put these together so these i would say truly are for ages five plus our three-year-old can't handle them um but i do think these are cool if you have a five-year-old and they are definitely small pieces that i wouldn't let my 10 month old be near so this is one of those toys i would say is only when you know you just have big kids around so the next um building tool kit is zozo plays straw constructor and these kind of look like straws and then they come with teeny tiny little connector pieces um, and it says ages three plus this is another one where they definitely would not be good for little babies like our 10 month old these are like teeny tiny pieces that she will put in her mouth and probably try to swallow so this is another one like i said i would not recommend if you have a baby in the house but if you have a way to keep your kids separate this is a good one um, I don't think they're terribly difficult for like the fingers as you can see he's just kind of popping them in and they do stand up I haven't seen our three-year-old successfully build anything large with these but she does enjoy them um, they're kind of a toy that I would say like if mommy and daddy play with her she thinks these are so much fun um, but hours of entertainment or like all that independent play I'm not sure you're gonna get out of it with a three-year-old but I definitely think if you had like a three-year-old and a five-year-old or something these would be really cool um, but yeah, we've built some of these. These are cool because they're tall, they're long. So you can build like a tower taller than your child in just a few minutes time. Um, and they're kind of neat. Again, they have really good reviews and they're pretty affordable too, but that's how you build a simple cube and you can just keep stacking as you see these interlocking pieces. And I like the carrying case as well. They can stack really nicely. They have like locking flaps on the end so the baby can't get into it. The next kit is this by Zozo Play, again, same brand, and these are the tubular pipe spouts and joints toy. So these ones are recommended for ages three and up, and you basically just interlock these tube spouts and joints to make things. These kind of reminded me of like Super Mario, like jumping through those tunnels and pipes, but um, they do come with wheels, so these are different in a sense because you can make like moving toys, as you can see in the pictures here and um, our three-year-old loves to make moving toys out of these and uh, you know she puts things inside of the cars like her toys from other sets so I like that these kind of interact with her littlest pet shop animals or whatever and you can like make them into rides um, and this one does come with 64 pieces and honestly that makes a lot for just 64 pieces for reference the Zozo Play straw constructor that we just showed was 400 pieces and you can build a ton with that, but this one with just 64 pieces, you can build quite a bit as well. So the next set is Kid Connects, K apostrophe N-E-X. These are also recommended for ages three and up. Um, and they are called the Budding Builders. Um, it comes with 100 pieces. And 100 pieces is enough to build several little critters. Um, these ones have different like eyeballs. They have... Um, like different lengths of limbs. You can make like really tall things that have like, you know, one foot tall legs each. Um, you can make them short. 
there aren't like as many pieces as far as like variety goes as I might like, but they're really cool. Like you can make, you know, aliens or monsters or bugs or animals out of them. These don't have wheels, but um, they are cool in the sense you can kind of make pieces spin, um, just depending on what kind of connector you use. So these are good and not a lot of teeny tiny pieces, but there are some that are small. So it does say just three and up, and I think that's about right. Okay. The next set is by MagBlock. Um, these are magnetic building blocks, and uh, this is kind of what they look like. So these, I would say, are the best bang for your buck, the most entertaining, the most hours spent of independent play we've ever gotten out of any toy with our three-year-old, then two-and-a-half-year-old. She got these for Christmas when she was two and a half. She could, within like a week or so, build cubes like he's doing here um, and learned to stack those cubes and make cool things. And so we ended up buying a second set of these by like her birthday, which was mid-year. Um, and so, yeah, you can build, there's squares and different shapes. Um, one set of these comes with wheels, so you can make moving parts. And then the other set we got um, looks like a Ferris wheel. And they have alphabet letters you can snap in or different window panes you can snap in. These are, to me, more expensive, but more value for like the number of minutes your kid might play with them. We really liked these, but again, magnets are not great for babies. Um, but as long as you're playing, you know, in the same area with them, you can keep an eye on them, I suppose they're pretty good for that. But our three-year-old really likes them, and they are also ages three and up. So the next set are the Mega Blocks, um, and these are pretty much a classic. I think every kid has had some form of these. They're like the large Legos, um, and these are the first builders, ages one and up. So, like, we would even let our 10-month-old um, play with these. Um, one side I saw said 18 months and up, the packaging from this box says ages one and up, but classic. They have tons of different sets, different characters. You can get them Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, alphabet, like alphabet learning toys, race car type, whatever you're into. But they're good price and start at the youngest age. All right, the next set is Melissa and Doug's 100 piece wood block set. And these are multicolored. They do not interlock. So if you like the clicking into place Thing, this isn't going to be good for you, but if you like knocking things down like dominoes, these are really cool. Um, there are definitely some plus sides in that, you know, you're just kind of open-ended. You can connect them however you want, and that's great. Um, they're big pieces, so I'm not worried about our 10-month-old swallowing them. They're pretty good-sized. I don't think she could even if she wanted to. But I would want, like, two sets of these um, in order to make them build something cool. So like, unfortunately, I think you need two sets and then that makes them more expensive. Um, and also they show teeth marks. So like, we don't have a puppy. Our dog is six years old, but when she can get her teeth into something or our little beaver of a 10 month old who's teething, they do dimple. And for that reason, they look worn even though they're not that old. So the plastic, while maybe not like the best for the environment or whatever, isn't that, that's nicer because these wood ones are looking aged even though they're only like a year old. All right, and the last of the eight sets is Duplo by Lego. And these, of course, they have many different sets. This is just one pamphlet that's like Minnie Mouse, but they're all like, you can put them together. You can, there are some that have wheels. There are some that have little special characters like Figaro, uh, Minnie Mouse's cat, Minnie Mouse with a car. They snap together really easily. These are also ages one and up. Another place I saw, they were 18 months and up, just depends on what you look at. But these are a great starter set. They don't take up that much room. They didn't come with like a really fancy carrying case, so that's kind of annoying. You have to get your own bin or something. But um, chances are, if you have Legos or Lego Duplos or Mega Blocks, you're probably gonna own more than one set. So you'd have to come up with your own storage solution. Whereas the first few toys I mentioned came in their own plastic cases. So as the mom who ends up having to organize the bedrooms and the toys, that is something definitely to keep in mind for me because I don't want a mess and these don't come in a case, so they end up everywhere. But the one-year-olds or under probably wouldn't be able to swallow these small parts, so they don't require as close a supervision as some of the toys. All right, so those are our eight um, favorite building toys. We have a couple different ones that we didn't mention, like the bristle blocks and Melissa and Doug, like natural wood blocks. Um, but these are the eight that we use the most frequently and that I had opinions on that I thought would be um, useful to someone else with young kids. I would say the youngest would be like the Lego Duplos and the Mega Blocks where you don't have to watch them as closely. Most of them are kind of around that two to four year old age range. 
and then the brain flakes, the first toy I mentioned was probably ages five and up, but it just gives you guys an idea of how to put them together, how the pieces interlock, and um, you know, bang for your buck, storage, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.